a while since you you fought. What does it mean to have a fight coming up in just a few weeks? Um, it means a lot. I'm excited, and this is a fight that's you know supposed to have been happening since early 2000 last year, and I'm just ready to get it done. Yeah, I mean, it was supposed to happen in XFC. It was supposed to happen here, or there, everywhere. Um, you know, what's it? What's it going to be? I mean, are you are you really kind of hopeful that this time she doesn't pull out or anything like that? Man, I think I've said it a couple times. I don't know if, she, if you can back out three times. I mean, that two times is enough. Three times, people are going to start to make more of a buzz than they did the second time. So I hope and pray that she uh, can make it through to this one. Obviously, it fuels you a little bit more to try to defeat her now because she's she's backed away from you so many times. It does. It fuels me more, and then you know, being in her hometown where it was supposed to be for the last XFC, um, I'm ready to just walk into the backyard and take it. Yeah, I mean, it's exciting for you as well. I mean, you're you're coming off a loss, but um, you know, it seems like you got a lot more momentum going in, and you're starting to get your career in, in shape, as it were. Can you tell us a little bit about that, your training, and um, how you've improved as a fighter over the past year or so. Um, well, for those that don't really know, I started off 0-3 training out of Wyoming and not knowing anything. I was in a garage with a heavy bag and a mat. And then I came to Colorado and I took two years off to train. I've gone 2-2 two two since living in Colorado. Um, I left my first team, which was Serial Box, with Diana Rell and Ben Schischler. And learned what I could from them and went on to continue more looking into a jiu-jitsu school to work the ground game as well. And um, You know, like I said, I'm not that fighter anymore. I'm not the 0-3 fighter that you see on the record, but, you know, this fight looks to prove it because Angelica Chavez is a name in the MMA world that people know. She claims she has a UFC contract or that she's on the waiting list for Dana White for the UFC, so it's just another way to get my name out there and show people that I'm not that fighter and I have changed. Yeah, I know you've been working with, um, we've been working with the Rosanna Juniors, who's currently on the uh, Top 20. Um, you know, what's it like been working with her, especially considering how, how good her jiu-jitsu is? It's awesome working with her. Um, anything you ask her, she's willing to answer questions, to show you, to stop, to slow it down. You know, I asked her personally, can you help me with this camp? You know, I'd love your stand-up. And she's like, as much as I can between the Tough 20 media tour and everything she's doing. She's just been a good teammate, you know. We helped her get ready for Tough, and she's just returning the favor. Uh, to train with her, it's just unexplainable. Yeah, I mean, it's unbelievable. You're, you're out in Denver right now. The scene is just absolutely crazy in Denver as well. As well. Uh, what's it like training in Denver and, and having so many uh, people that you kind of uh, train with and, and uh, you know, actually see on a day-to-day -day basis or, you know, maybe a couple week times a week? Um, training in Denver is awesome for those that don't know. The Mile High City, and then we go up into the mountains to about 7,200 feet in trains. So our cardio is impeccable, and JJ's going to show that tonight in Invicta, actually. And then, you know, we're around a lot of Invicta fighters. You have Cassie, you have JJ, Maureen, Lacey, Shuckman. Um, originally, Michelle Watterson was out of Colorado before going to Albuquerque. So Colorado is the place where it's at. If you want to learn some good MMA and you want some impeccable cardio, come train with us. Now, um, I don't know if you can comment on this, but XFC is going a little through a couple changes. They're doing some new management. There's a lot of uh, stuff going down um, in, in, in South America. You're signed with them as well. Are you, what do you, where do you see yourself in terms of the XFC? Um, do you think, think that they'll bring you down to uh, you know, Brazil to maybe fight? Or um, you know, is there any term, words on if they're going to be uh, doing a U.S. card here and you being on the card? Or what's kind of your status right now? Um, I've spoken to the president. He's well aware of who I am. He said he wants to speak with me on a personal level and he wants to discuss my free future and where the XFC is going. Um, by the way, he made it sound. I will be on a card in the upcoming year. Um, we didn't know if it would be in the U.S. or the Brazil area, but either way, it's going to be an experience. It's going to be fun because they're, uh, they're moving things right along. What would it mean to you to be down in Brazil and to be able to fight down there? Um, you know, probably it's nerve-wracking because obviously Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu where it originated and what everyone trains down there, but uh, it'll be an experience to say the least, and I would love to, you know, travel. Part of why I started fighting was to travel. It's the best of both worlds, and let it fall where it may. Have you ever seen their product down there? Have you seen any of their cards? I've seen the cards. I haven't got to watch any of it. They don't have ready TV for our, for our cable company, but I've seen the highlight reels. I've seen the videos of the fights that they've been putting on, the PR that they're doing, and it's huge down there, and they're doing good things. Yeah, I mean, they've been streaming a lot of their stuff, too. So I've been watching the streams, and it, the product was absolutely awesome down in Brazil. So I think they're doing a good job. Yeah, I'm really interested to see where you go there. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, um, you know, getting through this fight and all that as well, it'll be interesting. I mean, the, the, obviously the strawweight division right now is really, really, uh, is really, really loaded, and a lot of people are looking for a lot of strawweights as well. What do you think, you know, being a strawweight right now and being in such in demand, what is, how does that make you feel? 
and you know, just looking at that, you have so much talent that you can you can uh, fight uh, and fight more often during the year. Um, I consider it a lot going to the strawweight division. I do walk small if I were to be a strawweight, which is where the only concern lies for it. But you know, all the 105ers decided to jump ship and try out for tough. And if they're not trying out for tough, they're in the strawweight division because everyone's signing strawweights and everyone thinks you know. I'm a strawweight, I'm going to go to UFC, and there's a good possibility for it, so it's definitely something I've considered. I'm actually fighting in Helica at 115 pounds as opposed to 105, so we'll see how it goes. Yeah, um, yeah, it'll be an exciting fight here coming up. Um, do you know if it's going to be streamed at all? I haven't heard yet if there's going to be any stream for it. Um, they might be working on one, and I hope they get one. If not, I you know, put the results up as soon as they happen. Yeah, I think there's two female fights on that card, right? Yeah. yeah, I mean, it'll be interesting to be able to say the least. And, and to be in Albuquerque, because obviously, you know, you know Albuquerque's in over Jackson's MMA as well. And so, yeah, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm wondering if we might see Michelle in, in the audience watching this, but we can always hope, right? Absolutely. And some of the Jackson girls possibly, too. I don't know. My coach Keith was saying every time he's been to an event in MMA, there's you know, a bunch of big name fighters there from multiple gyms throughout the area. So we'll see. Yeah. Um, any sponsors you want to? Um, any any sponsors that you want to shout out to? Anybody else you want to shout out to? Oh, absolutely. I'd just like to thank all my team at 303, Cassie Rob, JJ, uh, Brittany, Audrey, my coaches, Keith, Mike, Tony Vasili. Um, as far as my sponsors go, I'd like to thank Natural Grade Nutrition, Punch Mouth Guards, No Mercy MMA, Sick Chick. There's one more. I can't think of who it is. Uh, and then I'd like to thank Jason Adams as he kind of fills in and stands in as our promoter, as our manager and helps us and speaks to the promotions and does a lot of labor work for us. Well, I look forward to it. I look forward to this fight. I look forward to seeing you at the XFC again. Uh, I think um, all of us are kind of um, in, in trans, um, optimistic waiting when they get back to the U.S., but they've been doing such a great job, so we can't wait to see you um, in their cage again, too. So um, best of luck to you. Thank you so much. Thanks, Dr. Howard, for the adjustment. Got it. <laughs>